Hello dear Sagittarius, welcome to Divine Debut. Thank you so much for being here. This is your mid-September 2019 general and love reading. I'm doing a Celtic cross. Thank you to everyone for your support, for your wishes. Thank you so much. We are moving into a little bit more Venusian energies. Venus and Mercury have moved now into Libra. Venus rules Libra, therefore she's very balanced there, she's very harmonious. Libra is partnership house, relationship with other people, whether it's romantic business or family. And Mercury together with Venus there in Libra says that conversations will be taking place trying to find equilibrium, trying to find um, balance in relationships, harmony through conversations. Libra is air, therefore it's all about communication. It's intellectual. Um, and we had a full moon in Pisces a couple of days ago. That was like huge. It was a culmination of something to do with illusions. Um, Neptune, the ruling planet of um, Pisces, is squaring for the third time over to Jupiter in a couple of days. That's the third and last meeting, Jupiter in Sagittarius, its home sign. Therefore, there could be, you know, some sort of an illusion breaking something that was over over the top where, where optimism is concerned. So because Jupiter likes to expand on everything it touches and Neptune is the illusions. Neptune is also unconditional love, it's spirit. Both Jupiter and Neptune are very spiritual, so it is a very spiritual time. Anyway, I could keep talking for hours on the astrology, but let's do your reading. Dear Sagittarius, I know that you have been waiting for these readings, so here we go. I'm using the Connolly Tarot, so now, in the position of now, is the Ace of Cups. What a way to go. Your challenge is the full beginnings in love, new cycles, in something that's going to make you very happy. Um... Challenge is the full, and I see that there are crossroads here. Some of you have got choices, okay? Um, Aries is the full. In the foundation, we've got the Knight of Wands, which I see as Sagittarius. In the recent past, Five of Cups. So, crowning your reading is the Empress. Wow, beautiful. The Empress is Libra because it usually shows the glyph of Libra, um, what am I saying, of Venus. Um, so it's either Libra or Taurus, because both of those signs are ruled by Venus. She's beautiful, sitting right there in your crowning area. Let's see what is in the future. Near future is Seven of Pentacles. In the position of you is the... King of Pentacles, which I usually see as Taurus, could be any other earth sign, of course, as well. Let's see what's around you. And you've got the King of Cups. Interesting. So Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, in your hopes and fears is judgment. So the water sign would be Scorpio. So I think we've got the same person for many of you. Taurus, Scorpio, that's the axis, Taurus, Scorpio. So this is Plutonian energy. This is judgment calling. Big card. Very big, very strong card. Let's see what your outcome is. Oh, wow, Sagittarius. Bring it on. Another ace. Ace of Wands. This is beautiful. At the bottom of the deck is the Queen of Pentacles. Oh, my God. Wow. So what I think... Personally, I think that uh, the Empress and the Queen of Pentacles are the same person. 
The Empress is the uh, major arcana. She's the mother of Earth, the Queen of Pentacles, which could be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Um, Sun, Moon or Rising, of course. She's the minor arcana. So we're talking the same person here. So the general energy is being very grounded. The Queen of Pentacles is someone who puts a lot of value into um, things that she owns. Very earthy, very earthy. She's the mother of earth. She's the housekeeper. She is very, very grounded, very capable, very dependable. Um, she could also own her own business, obviously. She is focusing on pentacles, on physicalities, and on values. Let's see what's beneath the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Four of Swords, which speaks of taking time out. Um, usually with the Four of Swords, the traditional Four of Swords does um, show the Three of Swords on top of his head. He's meditating. The warrior is taking time out, focusing on the heartbreak of the past. Um, and usually with the Ace of Swords, this is... Uh, something that will be communicated, something that will be started, something that will be cut out. So whatever dead skin, whatever um, negativity surrounds this situation will be cut out with that Ace of Swords. But Four of Swords is also, Fours always speak of home stability and security. So this is like taking a break, taking some time off, Let's see what's beneath that. We've got the Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups is same energy as the King of Cups. Of course, this is an offer. Um, in the Connolly Tarot, there's a lot of red here. So there's passion as well as uh, emotion because it is the Knight of Cups, but he's coming in quickly. So this was a quick offer that is being thought about whether it should be accepted or not, I would say. And then... I think that uh, it's surrounding the values and with Uranus in Taurus, everyone, I think that that's got a lot to do with Uranus in Taurus because Taurus is all about our values. It's what we love. It's um, earned income. So Uranus will bring in the changes if there is no value in a situation. It's like suddenly rebelling against something that is not of value, something that we don't want and that we don't love. So beautiful reading, absolutely glorious reading. So we do have the King and the Queen of Pentacles here. This is the perfect match. Both of these people have got similar values. Uh, career is very important to them. Money is of priority and they're people that can be depended on. They're very supportive um, and they're both individually very good at what they do and that's why they enjoy, um, enjoy the stability of constant money coming in. This is their, how they feel secure. And with the North Node in Cancer, as a collective energy, Cancer is also the home, it's our security, it's our family, it's our foundation, our heritage. There is more focus on securing our lives with our family. If it's, It could be where we live, could be purchasing a new home. Now we don't have the Ace of Pentacles here, but if you notice the King of Pentacles is holding the Ace of Pentacles, there is the focus on that. So stabilizing something, and this could be a relationship, something that's um, going to grow, something that's going to go all the way. And because we do have the judgment card in the hopes and fears, this is something that uh, may have had, it may have been issues with this. Some of you may not be in communication with your partner. This is a resurrection though. This is what you're hoping for because you do have the Five of Cups here. So the Five of Cups is looking at the glass half empty, as always, and those two cups are not focused on. So this is looking at the past, not seeing the future, but the challenge is to begin something new. 
aces are potentials and the potential is here okay now the the fool is not an ace it's a zero of course the next card would be the ace which is the magician and the magician is um, the uh, the magician is Mercury, the planet Mercury, and Mercury rules Virgo and Gemini, and that's where the good communication comes in, the logical thinking, and again, as I said, with Libra, we're starting to move into the time of Libra in about, um, today is the 16th, so on the 23rd, in about a week, it's going to be Libra season, and it's all about balancing out and harmonizing relationships with others. So what I'd like to do before I go into the reading is I would like to take three Lenormand. I want to see more cards before I can actually say what I see in your reading. Please Spirit Guides and Angels, Sagittarius and Mid-September end of September what's happening for Sagittarius with their ruling planet Jupiter moving through their sign there is an in conjunction which is like a weird aspect from your ruling planet Jupiter to the North Node so something needs tweaking something needs tweaking before Jupiter can bring you the blessings let's Let's take three Lenormand for Sagittarius. We've got the card of the loyalty. This is a 10 and it's, sorry, it's an 18. 18 is the number of the moon. We did have that full moon in Pisces, which could be a bubble that is bursting. Too much optimism could have brought some disappointment. But then on the other side of, uh, on the other side of things, we do have spirit very prominent in Jupiter and um, Neptune so through hardship um, and through squares in astrology there comes change and there has been a necessity for change so this little puppy he's a puppy and he wants to go out and play and he's offering his leash saying come and play with me so it's such a beautiful card I love this so you know puppy love reminds me of um, love at the first stages okay a very playful flirtatious sort of love so what else do we have we've got the time timekeeper Saturn and this is a number 37 which equals a 3 and a 7 equal 10 and 10 is completions now the the clocks of time are ticking away now Saturn the timekeeper is moving direct in two days he's very very slow moving but the the ground he covers the new ground that he's going to be covering not yet though because he's going to be going over his um, shadow uh, period so this is we're moving into ground that we've already uh, uh, were dealing with we were already dealing with this and then Saturn turned retrograde for another chance to work over this same area so I think it was April when um, when Saturn turned uh, retrograde so that means that from before April what were you dealing with that's the ground that you will be covering again with Saturn but he is going to be moving direct which is good Okay, so this is all about time, and the 10 gives tells me either 10 days, um, 10 days or 10 weeks, or at the most October, I'm going to say, and uh, 10 weeks would probably be around October. So the time of Scorpio, yeah, could that could be quite important for you. Okay, so let's take one more card, and we've got the compass. So the compass is trying to find your way, okay? This is trying to get somewhere. Very Jupiterian. It is a number 42, which equals a 6. So 16 and 18 is 34. 3 and a 4 is 7. 7 is the divine. It's spirit. Let's take a message from spirit 
while we're on the subject for, for Sagittarius, I was going to say Scorpio. Some of you may be on the cusp with Scorpio, yes. So this could be uh, important for you as well. Oh, so dear spirit, divine, Sagittarius, what do they need to know from, from your spirit guidance? What do they need to know? Let's take a card for Sagittarius, please. Sagittarius, I think this is the card. And we have a child's love. The love between a parent and a child is one of the most precious and deep connections we make during our time on earth. Children start out as part of us and from their first cries they establish themselves as the biggest part of our lives, as the biggest part of our hearts. Um, a child's love, so this is beautiful. Um, especially the fact that we've got the Empress here. Now child's love can be innocent love it can be all about innocence, just like the little puppy here. Puppy love, innocence, a child, um, innocent love. Okay, for those of you that are dealing with an adult, obviously we're talking about true, and it's funny that the I just uploaded Scorpio, and the title for them is um, The Purest Love, The Real Thing. So you may want to go and watch that. Now with the Empress here, some of you could be pregnant, could be um, finding out that you're pregnant and you've got six months to go. She's usually three months pregnant. She is a number three. She's all about expansion and growth. Um, Sagittarius expands on everything. It can expand on your waistline as well. Uh, speaking of, of course, childbearing. The Empress, of course, is also, she's also um very pregnant with creative ideas. She's very inspired to create things, create beautiful things. She's all about beauty. She emanates magnetism and love and nurturing. Wow, <laughs> a card just fell out <laughs> right on top of the King of Pentacles. And the King of Pentacles is wearing a mask. So the deception card, maybe it's not strong deception, but it's a mask. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship, which is saying to me that what I think personally that this card means is that for those of you that this is the same person, if this is your energy anyway, or this, I suppose this could be your partner, dear Sagittarius, if this is the same person, then the King of Pentacles is wearing a mask about the feelings, not opening up about his feelings. He's showing up as very professional and more focused on business than anything else. But deep within, I feel that, um, deep within, I think that this is how this King of Pentacles is in, re in actual fact. For those of you that are dealing with two di uh, two different people, and this is not going to be many of you, I feel that for most of you it's the same person. If it's two different people, then the King of Pentacles is not opening up about something. Now maybe one person out there, two people, could be deceived by this person. And this could even be in business. So take care if you're in business with this King of Pentacles, he could be ruthless. But I don't think that that's the main energy. I think that that might be a message for a couple of you out there, not many. Let's see what else we've got for Sagittarius. You know the interesting thing about this deception card? It says someone is wearing a false self mask. But if you notice in the picture, they're both wearing masks. So it's as though the the true feelings, the true emotions have not been um, communicated. And it's the perfect time to do that now. Okay, Virgo season was all about business, all about work, daily routine, health. Now we're moving into 
the subject of relationships and relationships have been on the forefront for a while now. Sagittarius, please. Archangel Michael, please guide me. Okay, we've got two cards that just fell out. As soon as I said Archangel Michael, they both fell out. And we have, pay attention to the red flags, the signs are cautioning you, and finances, are career, finances and career financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So there are red flags, not easy cards that have come out. I want to see what's at the bottom of the deck. So there are red flags. Pay attention to someone that's holding back on their emotions, um, finances and career. Um, it looks like there have been some losses. Now, even though this is an emotional card, there could have been some losses in the past. And if this is of this is a um, if this is a business, if you're looking into this reading for business with the Seven of Pentacles in the near future, with the Seven of Pentacles, you are calculating your future, and you know, is it worth in, um, investing any more time here? The challenge is the fool. The challenge is that a karmic cycle has ended because the full is the zero. So you've been through some sort of a cycle that's, um, you've sort of, you've had some lesson, you've had some lesson that you've had to overcome and now the challenge is to begin again, take that leap of faith, take that risk. Let's look at the bottom, wow, new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So, New love may, can mean someone new, for those of you that are single, but new love can also mean a new cycle in love, okay? So it looks like, obviously, with a deception card, some of you may have been even deceived where emotions, emotions are... The deception card, the pay attention to the red flags and the finances and career, I'm thinking that some of you, and if this is your energy here because it's in the position of you, could it be with the Queen of Pentacles that some of you are already committed to this Queen and she could be someone that's more interested in the finances. She's the one that's wearing the mask. Um... And that could be the bubble that has burst with Jupiter and Neptune just recently or will be in the near future because the full moon up to two weeks, that's where we see what happened with that full moon until the next new moon. So could it be that even with the Queen of Pentacles, it could be either the Queen of Pentacles or the Empress, some of you may also share a child with one of these females. I don't know which one it is. Um, the, the Empress is someone who is very creative. She's, of course, she's pregnant. She could be pregnant. So it could be either because, as I said, it could even be the same, the same female, the same feminine energy. But for others of you, it could be, one is from your past, she's the general energy with the deception and the finances and career. And because the Empress is the person, the female, let's say the feminine energy that is in your crowning area, she's the one that's on your thoughts. We do have the Ace of Cups here. She's sitting right above it. So could it be that you are dealing with an Empress? This is the new love because the, the challenge is the fool. Okay, starting a new cycle. That could be the case. Now, in the 
foundation area and the distant past. This is the Knight of Wands, which is your energy. It's Sagittarius. And this speaks of movement, very quick movement. Um, could be for work. You could be someone who travels for work a lot. But this Knight is very action orientated, very busy, always on fire, moving from one place to another. As I said in the recent past, there's been some sort of a disappointment here. Um, but the three cups are spilt, the two are still standing. The Empress in the area of your thoughts as well as your career. Career is looking really good. It's looking fabulous. There's manifestation. She's a three, right? Also, let's look at your status and how you're seen in the world. It looks as though... And the Empress could be someone who is around you, could even be a boss, because the Empress is above the King of Pentacles, could be someone that is already a mother. There could be also a, a difference in age. The Empress is, could be a little bit older, even though here she looks younger, but she is an Empress, so she's above the King. Um... The Empress could also be a mother of yours, a mother of yours, okay, and she's very, she's crowning your reading, so it's a very important position where, that she holds here. But I do see here, what I notice here is that little butterfly. So there's some sort of a change around this Empress, some sort of a transformation. Now, as I said, in the near future, you're looking at a situation, calculating what do I do? Which way do I go? This is a seven. Seven is the divine. Take your time. Don't rush the decisions of your life. It's very important. Okay. And dear Sagittarius, you are fire and you, you are very action-based and quick to move. I think that the cards here are saying take your time. Now in the position of the environment with the King of Cups, the King of Cups is someone who's got an open heart, someone who is ready to offer their heart. Um, this could even be, for some of you, this could be someone who may be wanting, I don't know, either to partner up with you, could be in business, could be, these could be brothers. We could be talking about a family business as well. We've got two males, two masculine and two feminine so it looks like a sister, through, uh, two brothers and a sister and the mother. So this could be about a family business as well. It's quite a team. It's the A team, I would say. One person is more focused on business. The other is mostly focused on emotions. Can be quite over-emotional too sometimes. But this could also be just an offer that's coming through from someone in your environment. An offer for more business an offer as uh, as an apology, let's say. This could be, of course. But I think that this is the same person and this is someone who is opening up their heart. Why? Because they're transforming. Okay, this is the judgment calling, which is a very karmic card, but it's also speaking of resurrection, starting again, rebirth, a second chance. Rising up, rising up from the ashes. And I don't know if you can notice the picture here. Look at the illustration. We've got a couple and here it's like a child. It looks as though there is some sort of a, there's coldness between these two people for whatever reason. He's, he has a halo around his head. So very spiritual, receiving the download. So it's something to do around the masculine energy. There's an awakening here. Now the outcome is the Ace of Wands, which speaks of, again, another potential, a potential for a new beginning, a new beginning through your passions, through your creativity, through your vocation. This could be a beginning of a new creative project as well, but it's also very sexual, sexually orientated, very... Um, very passionate, a lot of passion and emotion, potential in both areas here. 
what I'd like to do is take some more cards. I'm going to take three of the uh, Twin Flame Oracle by Mystic Moon. Three cards just to see what else is happening with you, dear Sagittarius. Now, what I want to say is also this could be a same-sex um, relationship here. We've got two masculine energies. Why? Because the King of Cups, who is more than likely a Scorpio, um, is offering his cup, and we've got we've got the Empress here, which could be a mother, right? And she's very loving and nurturing. She's very giving you know she's a beautiful energy she's all about things that we love she's a provider obviously she provides for her children and as the card was saying here the children um, a child can change all our, all of our life so there is a strong connection here mother son connection and even though uh, the Empress is looking quite young, so I would say for some of you this mother could be in spirit and in memory she could be as beautiful as she is on this card. So interesting, interesting. Let's see what the Twin Flame Oracle has got to add before I take more cards as clarity. Sagittarius, please, spirit. Sagittarius, what do they need to know? And we have divine timing. Divine timing is here. And with the Empress, of course, in six months, if it's September now, um, we're talking February, in six months she will be giving birth. This could be to something creative or it could be a, a, an actual child, of course, a pregnancy. Some of you, if this is business, you're going to be collecting the harvest roughly February. Let's see what else we have. We've got understanding. So this is like the divine sending messages through the energy field. Okay, this is like, it's very similar to the resurrection card, the awakening, the understanding and we've got Divine Feminine, and again, very much so the rays, look at the rays coming down from the sky. There are messages coming to you, dear Sagittarius. There are messages, and it's all about Divine Timing. Now, the Divine Feminine is a very nurturing energy. Let's see what's at the bottom, and we've got Metamorphosis. Yes, Death and Transformation, very Scorpionic energies. There is change. This is a rebirth. Some of you were dealing with a karmic partner. Okay. Karmic partner means something that is fated. Doesn't necessarily mean that it's a nasty relationship. Here we've got action. Yeah, so it could even be that news is coming through about some big change that is happening. Someone is changing, shedding that old skin. Let's take a few more tarot now. We know we're near finished. Let's take one card on each position. Let's look at the Ace of Cups and the Fool. Just had a card that fell on top of the King of Pentacles. I will leave it there. I would flip it in a second. So in the now position with the Ace of Cups and the Fool, we've got the World card. Yeah, remember what I said that a cycle has ended. The lessons have been learned. Okay, this is Venus again. Venus ready to be birthed. New love or new love within a committed partnership or a long-lasting relationship. One that has gone through a lot of lessons. It's like starting a new cycle now. It's, you know, a brand new chapter here. Let's take the Knight of Wands and we've got the Eight of Cups. Again, a lot of travel also spiritual travel, moving on from a situation that was not giving you happiness and bliss, looking for more, 
let's look at that five of cups in the recent past and we've got the knight of cups the knight of cups already you had it in the other deck again the offer the action but coming in slowly the knight of cups is someone who's very romantic someone who thinks about love and not about not about finances this person is with an open heart ready to offer his cup let's look at that empress and we've got eight of pentacles so this could be someone that you are dealing with at work this could be someone as I said she could be even your boss the higher up but she can also be someone who's very studious very reliable someone who works very hard and the eight of pentacles is the energy of Virgo let's look at the um, seven of pentacles and we've got the four of wands this is a celebration this is something stable coming through let's look at the card the card on top of the king of pentacles and we've got the ten of cups so much happiness look at this so dear Sagittarius you're moving from the eight to the ten of cups which means that you have found those two cups that you're looking for now with the four of wands this is like putting the groundwork down this is a commitment a celebration a childbirth this is someone who is could even be building a new house a new home could be even at a distance the world card could speak of world travel Sagittarius you are all about the vision of the world okay going on that adventure some of you may be living in a foreign land may be moving to another continent let's look at the king of cups and we've got the six of swords moving yes moving over water moving from trouble to calmness taking all those thoughts those memories with you but it is a number of uh, balance six is always balance let's look at the judgment calling and we've got the chariot beautiful again the north node in cancer is all about security it is the divine pushing you forth you're in the driver's seat here you are being pushed forth for transformation and a rebirth this is some of you may be moving away from your your family home moving out on your own starting a brand new life okay and there's a lot of travel cards a lot a lot of travel let's look at the ace of wands and we've got temperance as I said a lot to do with foreign places this is Jupiter Sagittarius card now this is a card of healing a card of spirit spirit is here working on your behalf doing things behind the scenes okay a card of healing and a card of um, trying to find your balance look at the way she's pouring from one cup to the other so another major arcana you've got three four five I don't know how many majors here this is a very strong reading dear Sagittarius let's look at this Queen of Pentacles she's the general energy what is she all about I want to say that some of you were ready to take another path and then you change you change suddenly why because the fool has got a few paths to choose his challenges to take that leap of faith he's looking forward but then he's turning backwards and he's looking straight at the four of wands he's wondering whether he should go on that adventure whether he should travel go on that holiday or settle down settle down and start a family let's look at that Queen of Pentacles and we've got the Hermit which is Virgo the Hermit is someone who has taken a step back away from um, the world in solitude looking for the answers looking for the details receiving the download from the divine very much like the understanding card okay and also we have the divine feminine here receiving the answers look at that 
what I'd like to do is I'm going to take one more card on these because I want to see on these three cards, even though the general energy is metamorphosis, what else do we need to know about the understanding, the divine timing, and even the uh, card of temperance speaks of divine timing. So, and I believe that with Saturn turning direct, slowly he's going to pick up pace and things will be different. Well, we've got the Muse card, which is like painting on a canvas. This is a very, very positive card. It's like creating your own your own future. That's how I feel with this card. Let's take another one for more clarity. And we've got Union. There's the answer. That's the one I was looking for, actually. I knew that it was something to do with partnership, relationship. That's beautiful. And we've got Summer down the bottom. So... Whatever summer means for you, depending on where you are in the world, summer speaks of the sun, speaks of warmth, warmth, uh, very Leo, okay, the, the summer card can speak of warm to hot, so going from, when we talk about hot, we talk about passion, of course. But again, it could be speaking of time, timing, timing. And we've got family here. So, yeah, communication. Well, even communication. Anyway, I'll stop there because I get carried away. <laughs> what I'd like to do is I'd like to take like three Sabilas. We've taken so many cards. I'll take maybe three Sabilas for a bit more information. What I'd like to see is... The King of Cups in the Environment position and the Six of Swords. We've got the Merchant thinking of business, thinking of contracts. He's a 13 against Scorpio. Merchant can be looking to expanding business to other countries to um, internationally. But this could be someone who also owns their own business and is thinking about contracts, thinking of making some sort of an offer. He is sitting on top of the King of Cups. Here we've got the Vecchia Signora, which is the Two of Swords, but she's also the visitor. She could also be someone like a mother, like the Empress. Um, this could be a mother, a grandmother, someone who can advise, but this can also be a situation that's matured. She is the visitor. So this merchant could be thinking of visiting. And we've got the Viaggio, the Voyage. Yes, there is a visitor coming in. This is the Knight of Cups, Knight of Wands. This is the Three of Wands. So there is, Viaggio means going on a voyage. So this merchant is thinking of taking a trip, could be going on a voyage, could be visiting someone, could also be traveling for business. I'd like to take on the King of Pentacles now. King of Pentacles, which is in the position of you, with the Ten of Cups, which tens always break down to the Ace. So there is this King of uh, Pentacles is your energy. You're moving from the Eight to the Ten of Cups. I want to see more information though. So let's take, we've got Fortuna, which is the Wheel of Fortune. And this is the Five of Wands. Five of Wands do it does remind me of building on something, literally or metaphorically. This is your ruling planet, Jupiter, and luck. This is um, superbia. Could speak of a little bit of vanity. Two of Wands, again, Sagittarian, walking through that new doorway into something that is very stable. This is the Ace of Pentacles. But it's also the news is coming through. So things that were hidden will be shown to you. Ace of Pentacles does speak of something stable, something real, something tangible. And this could be also finding out about pregnancy, which is going to make you very happy if your partner is pregnant. 
let's see and if it's not pregnancy then it's pregnant with an idea let's look at the Empress shall we let's take her out of here she's all the way down the bottom the Empress I just want to take three cards on the Empress we have Omaggio di Preziosi eight of Pentacles again so the precious gifts through hard work comes the precious gifts 11 very karmic Lamante the young lover serenading this queen this empress and the marriage card Amica harmony Libra four of wands beautiful confidant best friend just like the little dog here the puppy the puppy love that's beautiful what I'd like to do is I'd like to take the um, twin flame messages by mystic moon I want to see what the king of Pentacles has got to say now these message messages will not resonate with everyone for those of you that they do good I'd like love to hear about it they're very particular though because it depends on who is who let's look at the king of Pentacles right and he says I just wasn't ready for you so at one stage he was not ready okay but with the wheel of fortune he does say I wasn't ready for you not that I'm not ready for you now let's look at the king of cups we've got two cards that flipped open and we've got I'm sorry I couldn't do right by you and your beauty still moves me so he's um, talking about the Empress no doubt more than likely okay so let's um, take also an angel answer dear people ready to ask your question please stop the video if you are not ready Please, spirit for Sagittarius what do they need to know what a reading what a an amazing gorgeous reading for you Sagittarius Sagittarius even though something happened in the recent past yes a disappointment for sure with that five of cups let's see what the uh, future what the uh, September mid to end of September usually let's take your angel answer shall we and it says choose a new direction okay so choose a new direction I will read from the book for you let's see what the actual book says the time has come to choose a new direction for your life remember with the full here yeah the circumstances that you find yourself living in may seem unfulfilling or perhaps your heart is full of discontent you know that there is something more out in the world for you and you've been procrastinating following the guidance of your angels make a conscious choice to be the person you are meant to be create an action plan for yourself that leads you in the direction of your divine life purpose begin taking steps immediately toward a happier future and it's funny that with the divine timing here and the understand understanding I do believe that Sagittarius you do need to connect with spirit at this time you will receive the messages as you could see they're coming down from the sky but it's all about divine timing so maybe even though the book says change direction that could be a small change of direction but I believe it's all about divine timing you should receive your messages before you actually take the path that is right for you okay you will see you will receive the messages so thank you so much again for your time dear Sagittarius sending you lots of love hope that these messages resonate for you if they don't it's not your reading that's fine um, go and watch your moon and rising signs all the best wishing you much love much um, 
hope and have a wonderful adventure for those of you that are going to travel because there's a lot of travel in your near future. Alright guys, bye bye, thank you.